Corner, presented by Jennifer. Thoroughbred. Book One, A Horse Called Wonder. Chapter Nine, Part One. During the hot, lazy days of August, Ashley started taking Wonder and Holly for long walks around the farm. Rory usually tagged along, riding bareback on his new pony. The parents had found the pony at the neighboring farm. Rory had named him Mo too. He was fat and furry and wouldn't go faster than a trot, but Rory loved him. One afternoon, Caroline came along with them. She let Holly while Ashlyn took Wonder Shank. They both kept an eye on Rory as he tried ahead. Why didn't you ride Bo? Ashlyn asked her sister. You know I don't like riding anymore. Ever since that horse at Eggendale spooked on me. He only bolted because that car backfired. You're a good rider. Caroline shook her head. I get too nervous. I'm scared it could happen again. Look at me, no hands, Rory called from the front of them. Don't do that, Caroline called back with a touch of panic. That pony might run away. No, nah, he, Rory laughed. He's too lazy. Just the same, Ashlyn told him. Wait till you're in a paddock before you practice balancing. Rory made a face and picked up the reins. You're going to love this place I found for swimming, Ashlyn told Caroline. It's great. I sure could use a swim, Caroline answered, whipping droplets of wiping droplets of sweat from her forehead. It's getting hot. There it is, Ashlyn said as they came over a low hill. The rippling water of the stream sparkled in the sunlight and widened into a pool under some weeping willows. Rory kicked Mo into a jouncy trot. The pony splashed right into the stream and Rory let out a peal of laughter. Wow, that looks good, Caroline said. Okay, Holly, let's go waiting. Caroline led the old mare forward, and the two of them splashed in behind Rory. Ashlyn pulled Wonder ahead, too. Come on, girl, you'll love it. The filly readily followed Ashley, but at the water's edge, she just planted her feet firmly and skidded to a sudden stop. Ashley felt the jerk on the lead shank, but couldn't stop herself in time. She tripped and landed flat on her face. She flailed around, then came up, spitting out a mouthful of water. Caroline and Rory laugh, were laughing their heads off. Ashlyn pushed her wet hair out of her eyes. She couldn't help laughing, too. That's one way to get wet. She turned to Wonder, who was still standing stiff-legged on the bank, looking baffled but curious. Ashlyn gave a tug on the shank. You're, going to, you're not going to stay dry after you got me soaking wet. When the filly wouldn't budge, Ashlyn stepped back up on the bank and got behind Wonder and pushed. Startled, the filly leapt forward, landing knee-deep in the stream. She let out a shrill willy, whinny, but Ashley was right by her side reassuring her. See, it's not so bad. Come on, Wonder, Rory called from the back of his pony. Wonder dropped her head and sniffed the water, then looked at Holly, who was wading to the center of the stream. Holly nickered. Wonder made up her mind and tentatively stepped further out. Scooping up a handful of water, Ashlyn dribbled it over Wonder's back. Feels good, doesn't it? Caroline was gazing up the stream. 
lost in a daydream. Ashlyn felt a tingle of mischief. She skimmed her hand across the water and sent a splash in her sister's direction. Hey! Caroline cried, looking down at her now drenched shirt. Then she giggled and whacked a splash back at Ashlyn, getting wonder in the process. The filly shook herself, then seemed to realize this was a game. She charged deeper into the stream. Soon a full-fledged water fight was in progress. By the time they climbed out, they were all dripping, horses included. Ashlyn knew that Wonder wouldn't stay far from Holly, so she let the foal loose. She sat down in the sun next to Caroline, while Rory continued riding his pony up and down the stream bank. That was fun, Ashlyn said, breaking off a blade of grass and chewing on it. Yeah, it was, Caroline agreed. She set a comb she'd taken a comb from her pocket and was working it through the tangles in her wet hair. Ashlyn looked out to where Wonder was grazing beside Holly, looking like a miniature version of her mother. They made a beautiful picture with the sun glinting off their copper coats. The creep feeding seemed to be helping Wonder grow faster. She was starting to fill out and grow into her long legs, but Ashlyn knew Wonder still hadn't caught up with the other foals. They were still bigger and more mature. She had a feeling that Mr. Townstead wouldn't be impressed yet. Why do you think of her, Caroline? She asked. Wonder? Caroline lifted her shoulders, then winced at the comb, hit a snarl. She looks better than she did. I know, but will she be good enough for Mr. Townstead? She's really cute and all, but I can, and I can see why you got attached to her. But maybe you ought to get interested in something besides horses. Ashlyn thought for a moment. I'm interested in other things. I just love horses best. What's wrong with that? You love clothes and rap music. You don't even look at boys. I look at them. Most of the boys in my class are jerks. And I'm taller than them anyways. You look like you've grown this summer, too. Caroline cast an eye over her sister's friend. Still skinny and flat-chested, though. Ashlyn's cheeks flushed. She turned her head so Car Caroline wouldn't notice, embarrassed by her scrutiny. That's the best way f to be for a jockey. I hope I stay like this. Are you kidding? You really want to be a jockey? Her sister laughed. You'll change your mind. No, I won't. When Wonder's old enough to go into training, I want to ride her. That's why I've been practicing hard on Dominator. If Mr. Townsend decides to keep her. Ashlyn frowned and looked at her sister. I hope he does keep her, Ash. I'm not saying that he won't, but you ought to remember what Mom and Dad said about getting your hopes up too high. Of course, Ashlyn remembered. How could she forget? She thought about losing wonder all the time, but she wasn't about to give up. You just don't like horses enough to understand how I feel, Ashlyn said stiffly. Sorry, Caroline said. I was trying to make you mad. Listen, why don't you come to the movies in Lexington with me tonight? I'm meeting Marcy, and Mom said she'd drive me in. Ashley frowned again and tossed her head. And tossed away the blade of grass she'd been chewing on. Maybe. What's playing? It's a comedy. Is it? Okay, I guess I'll come. Later, when Ashlyn returned Holly and Wonder to their paddock, she saw Charlie approaching. When he had joined her, the two of them looked the horses over. Wonder's looking better, isn't she? Ashlyn said. Charlie frowned. Not bad, he said gruffly. What's wrong? Ashlyn asked. Ah, uh, Maddock has hired a new assistant trainer. Young guy. Couldn't be more than 30. He's putting him in charge of the two-year-old still, still at the farm in training. Don't need him. Charlie grumbled. Here I am, just hanging around, wasting my time. You think they let me do something worthwhile? You're helping me with wonder. It was the only thing she could think of to make Charlie feel better. Maybe you could coach me on my riding when I take Dom Dominator out. So you haven't given up on the idea of being an exercise rider? No way, Ashlyn exclaimed. <laughs> Charlie grouched. Then he dragged his hat over his forehead and, without another word, shuffled off. 
Ashlyn watched him walk away, feeling hurt and confused. What was he trying to tell her? That she'd never make it as an exercise rider? First, Caroline poked fun at her dreams, now Charlie. Didn't anyone understand how she felt? She stomped her foot. She wasn't going to give up her dreams for Wonder and for herself. Wonder was going to grow into a beautiful animal and become a great racehorse. And Ashlyn was going to be good enough to ride her and help train her.